auto vacuum switches and remote switches. Today I'm going to explain which each of these switches do, how and when to use them, and which one you should get for your shop. Before buying a switch like this, I used to have to go over to my shop vacuum or my dust collector and flick a switch every single time I wanted to use it. Now you might be playing the world's smallest violin for me right now, but I can't tell you how many times I've been so focused on the process that I just didn't bother turning on my dust collection. Dust collection is so often overlooked, but sawdust is one of the key risk factors in a woodworking shop like this. Plus, sawdust gets everywhere, and that just gets annoying. I've been trying to use my dust collection more consistently this year, and to help me do so, first I picked up this auto vacuum switch. By the way, I got this one on Amazon, links down below. This switch is a 120 volt grounded, heavy duty switch with two receptacles. One for the tool that you want to plug in, and one for the vacuum. This switch is really convenient because the vacuum turns on automatically whenever you turn the tool on. Just leave the shop vac on all the time, and when you turn on any tool plugged in above it, the vacuum switches on. When you turn the tool off, the vacuum stays on for 10 seconds before powering off. I originally got this switch to plug my table saw into the tool port and my wall mounted dust collector in the vacuum port. And it worked, but I quickly found out that it was super limiting. Every time I wanted to use another tool with a dust collector, I had to swap plugs. This kind of defeats the purpose of having a switch like this for the dust collector. So that's when I did a little bit more research and I found this switch. This is also a 120 volt grounded heavy duty switch, but it only has one receptacle. And this receptacle is remote operated. Being that it's remote operated is perfect for a tool like a dust collector. And by the way, I got this one on Amazon as well, and the link's in the description for this one too. Now this remote is said to be good within 50 meters of this switch. I haven't personally pushed it to the limit yet, but what I can tell you is that's more than enough for my shop. One great thing about this switch is I can put the dust collector on its own separate circuit. When I was using the AutoVac switch, I had two tools, a dust collector and a table saw plugged into the same circuit. That kind of bogged down and didn't give me great performance. Now that I can put the dust collector on its own dedicated circuit with this switch, I'm able to get the maximum performance out of both the dust collector and the table saw. The other great thing is now I can use my dust collector with any tool. Because it's not connected, because I can use a remote instead, I can plug it into my table saw, my band saw, my jointer, or even use it at the lathe. All I need is the remote. So if the remote switch is good for dust collection, then what's this one good for? The most common one I've seen around YouTube is to use it with a miter saw and a dedicated shop vacuum. Another scenario that the manufacturer shows in the instructions is using the vacuum port for a work light instead. It's pretty genius. I could imagine if you need extra light at say the band saw, this switch would be perfect for that. That said, my favorite way to use this switch now is with a dedicated vacuum cart. This cart is super simple. It has a shop vac, a cheap dust cyclone separator from a big box store connected to a five gallon bucket, and it rides on casters to make it mobile. On the side of the cart, I installed the vacuum switch. The shop vac gets plugged into the vacuum port, and when I'm ready to use it with a tool, I plug it into the tool port. I've used this with a router while I'm cutting an edge profile. It does a really great job at capturing router chips. Routing is incredibly messy without dust collection. Since I don't have a dedicated miter saw station, I've also used it with a miter saw to some success. That said, the miter saw throws dust everywhere, so it's not really efficient. But the way I use this cart most is when I'm hand sanding. This is absolutely the perfect switch for a hand sander. Sanding creates some of the finest wood dust, which can be the most hazardous to your health. So having an auto switch like this puts lung safety on autopilot. Although I'd still recommend a dust mask or a respirator when you're doing a lot of sanding. So let's answer the question, which switch? If you're using it with a dust collector, I would definitely recommend the remote switch. You can stick it on a dedicated circuit and you'll have the flexibility to use it with multiple tools if you have only one dust collection line. It's also really convenient because you can activate it from anywhere in the shop using the remote. On the other hand, if you need a switch for a dedicated tool or multiple hand tools, I would definitely consider the auto vacuum switch. Are these switches a convenience or a necessity? My answer is yes. Of course you can activate your dust collection without either of these switches. But if you aren't going to activate your dust collection because it's inconvenient to, then either of these switches will help protect your lungs by automating your dust collection. If you like this video, you're gonna love that playlist right there. Click the button and get started, and I'll see you in the next one.